Welcome to our patient education program on rotator cuff repair. Your surgeon has recommended you view this presentation to learn more about your upcoming rotator cuff repair surgery. If necessary, you may stop and start this presentation at any time by clicking the pause button. Contact your physician with questions you have regarding this presentation or your surgery by calling our office at 1-800-660-2672. The shoulder joint is surrounded by muscles and tendons that allow movement and stabilize the shoulder. The rotator cuff is a series of four tendons that allow for reaching and rotation of your shoulder. If one or more of these tendons gets worn, frayed, or torn, surgery is recommended to reattach the tendons. Your surgery will most likely be done in one of our orthopedic surgery centers on an outpatient basis. These are located in Concord and Derry. If for medical or insurance purposes you need to have this surgery done at a hospital, it will be at Concord Hospital. In Concord, our orthopedic surgery center is located on the lower level of our physician office building at 264 Pleasant Street. In Derry, the orthopedic surgery center is at 14 Chenado Road, just up the street from our Derry office. Please note that our surgery center in Derry is not located in the same building as our office. Depending on your age and health, you may need pre-surgical testing. Our scheduling staff will arrange any required testing on a day prior to your surgery. On the day of surgery, your arrival time will be about one hour prior to your surgery time. In the hour before surgery, you will need to fill out paperwork and meet with the anesthesiologist. Our staff will also prepare you for surgery. When you check in, you will change into a hospital gown and an IV will be placed in your arm. The staff will review your paperwork and orders from the surgeon. You will be asked to confirm the shoulder that will be operated on, and both you and your surgeon will place an identifying mark on that shoulder. You will then be taken to the operating room. Most patients are offered a nerve block in their arm before surgery. This procedure is performed by your anesthesiologist. After receiving medication to help sedate you and keep you comfortable, the anesthesiologist will inject a local anesthetic near the lower part of your neck to numb the arm and help control your pain during and after your procedure. This can help to reduce the need for narcotic medications for several hours after surgery. You will have the opportunity to discuss this option with your anesthesiologist on the day of your procedure. Your surgery will last anywhere from one to three hours, depending on the amount of repair required. During this time, your family member will have time to fill any prescriptions given to you by your surgeon. Some patients may even be able to have their prescription delivered directly to the surgery center. You will spend about an hour in the recovery room after surgery. Your family members will generally be able to see you anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes after you arrive in the recovery room. Remember, you must have a ride home following surgery. You will not be able to drive yourself home. When you awake from surgery, your arm will be in a sling. Your nurses will use your IV to give you any anti-nausea or pain medication that you may need. Once you start drinking fluids, your IV will be removed. You will need to either wear or bring comfortable clothes with you to the surgery center. These clothes must be easy to put on and your top must fit over the sling. A loose fitting, extra large top that buttons up the front is ideal. Another option would be an extra large sweatshirt that you can pull over your head that fits over the sling. Pull on pants without zippers work best for pulling on and off with one arm. Secure fitting slip on shoes should be worn. Often patients are given their sling before surgery. If this is the case, remember to bring it with you to surgery. If you are a patient who uses an inhaler at times, bring that to surgery as well. When you return home from surgery, you will want to use ice as much as possible to control your pain and reduce swelling. A bag of frozen peas works very well and can fit nicely over your shoulder. Remember to keep a cloth barrier between the ice and your skin at all times. If possible, ice your shoulder several times a day for 20 minutes each time. If you elected to have a nerve block before surgery, this can last anywhere from 10 to 20 hours. You should begin to take your pain medicine as soon as you feel the nerve block wearing off. 
Do not wait until you are in a lot of pain before taking your medication as it takes at least 30 to 45 minutes to take effect. Take your pain medication only as prescribed on the bottle. Narcotic pain medication will be prescribed by your surgeon for the first few days following surgery. Do not take these medications any more frequently than directed. Your surgeon will let you know if supplemental medication such as Tylenol or Ibuprofen can be used. Do not drink alcohol while taking your narcotic pain medication. Your reflexes may be impaired, so do not drive or operate machinery while taking your medication. You will be provided with instructions on when and how to change your bandages after surgery. These written instructions will also include information on when you will be allowed to shower. Sutures or stitches will be removed at your first postoperative appointment. You may see some soaking of the bandage immediately after your surgery. This is normal. You may also see some bruising around the area or some slight swelling in the operative arm or hand. These things are also normal. Please call our office if you experience any of the following conditions after surgery. Pain in your surgical arm that gets worse despite using pain medication. A fever of greater than 101.5 by mouth or if you see redness, pus, or smell and odor from your incision. If your dressing continues to be saturated with drainage or blood. Significant nausea or vomiting from your pain medication or numbness in the arm that returns after the nerve block has worn off. If you experience any of these conditions, please contact us at 1-800-660-2672. Our staff can assist you with adjustments to your medication and help you determine if a more immediate follow-up visit with your physician is required. If you reach our office after hours, you will be directed to the on-call physician. Your shoulder immobilizer or sling must be worn at all times. The small foam cushion between your arm and your body must also be left in place at all times. If there is a ball attached to the sling, this can be used to exercise your fingers and to minimize your swelling. Typically, the sling is worn for six weeks. This can only be removed for showering and is otherwise directed by your physician. You may not use your operative arm to reach or lift any objects or to support any amount of body weight until your surgeon instructs you to do so. Return to work depends on the type of employment and can be discussed at your post-operative appointment. If you are using a mouse or keyboard after surgery, do not move your arm away from your body to reach this. Some reminders. Do not reach with your operative arm. No leaning or supporting weight with your operative arm and do not push off with your operative arm. It is very important to remember that rotator cuff surgery is not easy. It takes a considerable amount of time for the tendons to heal. Even if you are feeling better, you will not be able to reach or push with the operative arm until your surgeon or physical therapist allows you to do so. When your surgeon allows you to shower, you'll be able to remove your sling for showering purposes only. Once in the shower, bend forward to let your operative arm hang freely like a dead weight. Do not attempt to raise the operative arm. You can then reach under with your non-operative arm to wash your armpit. You will need to pat the incision dry and try not to let the water run directly onto your incision. Your surgeon will let you know when it is safe to drive. Because you'll be wearing a sling at all times, you may not be allowed to drive for several weeks. Make arrangements ahead of time to have someone transport you to doctor's appointments and when running errands. Patients often complain that right after shoulder surgery, lying down flat to sleep can be uncomfortable. Sleeping in a recliner with an armrest to help position your arm may alleviate pain and help you to sleep better. Dressing with one hand can be very difficult. Wearing oversized clothes that you can either pull over or button with one hand might be the easiest. For a button-up shirt, insert your non-operative arm into the sleeve and then drape the shirt over your injured shoulder. Pull the shirt around and button over your sling. Snaps can be a better option than buttons as they can easily be snapped with one hand. To avoid buttons and snaps altogether, wear a large sweatshirt that you can pull over your head and body with your non-operative arm. Insert only your non-operative arm into the sleeve. 
There are some online companies that make post-operative clothing that may make it easier to dress, especially if you don't have assistance. An example of this would be www.shouldershirts.com. When your surgeon has advised that you can take your arm out of the sling for dressing, sit on the edge of a stable chair. You will dress your operative arm first. Slide your operative arm into the shirt first using your non-operative arm to assist. Do not assist with your operative arm. Keep it relaxed by your side. Once your arm is fully in the sleeve, using your non-operative arm, bring the shirt around your back and insert your non-operative arm into the sleeve. Do not raise or reach behind your back with the operative arm. Any buttons or snaps must be fastened only with the non-operative arm. Once you have dressed your upper body, place your arm back in the sling. Put your pants on by first sitting in a sturdy chair. Using your non-operative arm, reach forward and grasp the waistband of the pants. Slip each foot into the pants and pull them up as far as you can. If your balance is good, stand up and using the non-operative arm, you can pull your pants up the rest of the way. If you live alone, you will want to prepare meals ahead of time, something that can be easily prepared. Remember, it is important to eat a healthy diet as good nutrition is important for healing. Please also remember to avoid smoking after surgery, since this has been shown to inhibit your body's ability to heal your rotator cuff. Physical therapy is a very important part of your recovery from rotator cuff surgery. It is imperative that you follow your surgeon's and therapist's prescribed therapy plan. The timing of physical therapy after surgery varies from patient to patient. Your surgeon will order therapy when it is appropriate for you. Whether you have an open or arthroscopic surgery, remember that the same amount of repair has been done and the same healing time is required. Allow yourself the time your body needs to heal and recover. Please do not hesitate to contact our office for any significant questions or concerns.